Buongiorno and welcome back to another episode of Chef Andy. Figs, prosciutto, gorgonzola dolce. Yes, we're making the roasted fig prosciutto antipasto. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the highest quality cooking show on YouTube, people. Not just the ingredients, but the footage. So make sure to subscribe, but let's stop talking about it. Let's get cooking. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna get my cookie sheet, and I'm gonna take out my parchment paper, and I'm gonna put it the length of the cookie sheet. So we have our parchment paper. Now we're gonna take our prosciutto di Parma. Guys, this prosciutto di Parma is a really special ham. This dates back to ancient Roman times when they used to make prosciuttos from Parma, Italy. It's that old. Well, not, not this piece, but the history of, of making this, the recipe. So we're gonna lay this prosciutto right on the cookie sheet. Now, prosciutto is the back leg of a pig. The prosciutto di Parma is aged minimum for 400 days. And it's just all naturally done by sea salt, air, and time. All right, so we have our prosciutto di Parma. Now make sure you got your oven over here heated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna take my beautiful pecans. I'm gonna throw them in this pan here and we're just gonna let those roast. Remember not to burn them. We don't wanna get them burned. All right, so now we're gonna take our beautiful black mission figs and I'm gonna cut off the stem and then I'm gonna cut it into an X. So one little slit at the top, one at the slit across that. And so your fig, can you can open it up and it's gonna kind of flower out like so. So I'm gonna place my fig right on top of the prosciutto and then I'm just gonna repeat it. Cut off that end and I'm gonna cut an X right on the fig kind of open it up a little bit, help it out, and place it right on top of my prosciutto. Wow, these figs are amazing. Now, how you can tell that a fig is ripe is that right at the bottom of a fig, they have a hole right here. And when that hole is like oozing out sugar and juices, it's like a juice, that means that fig is like, Perfect, it's ready to eat. Okay, our figs are looking beautiful, come on. Now we gotta check on our pecans over here. You probably have, should have them roasting for about 12 minutes. I'm gonna check on them. Yep, they look just right. Not too roasted, but roasted just enough. So we're gonna, ooh, it's hot. Gonna dump that right on there. Now I'm just gonna chop these pecans up into little pieces and we're gonna let these cool down. This recipe was actually created by my dad and my dad is the person that I learned most of my recipes from was just watching him as a little boy. So shout out to you, dad. Thank you for sharing this beautiful appetizer. Now we're gonna take our gorgonzola dolce. Guys, this comes from the Lombardia, the Piemonte region in Italy. Man, is this stuff not good. You wanna get the stuff that comes from Italy. This is the best. So I'm just gonna take a pinch and I'm gonna take my pecans and I'm gonna mix them together and make a nice little ball. And then we're gonna put it right inside the fig. And then I'm just gonna repeat. The smell of this gorgonzola is incredible. You guys can already see that there's so many different flavors that are going on with this dish. Perfect, we got everything set up. Look how beautiful already the presentation looks. So we have our oven at 350. We're gonna plop this guy in here and we are gonna leave our beautiful figs, gorgonzola and prosciutto in there for about 12 minutes. So what we're looking for is we want the prosciutto to be nice and kind of crunchy, but we don't wanna burn the prosciutto and the gorgonzola you'll see when it reaches 12 minutes, it just melts. All right, our figs are looking great. It's been about 12 minutes. Oh my gosh, these look so good. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna take our extra virgin olive oil from my family olive trees in Florence, Italy, where we actually cold press this olive oil. And when you cold press it, when you do it the old antique way of cold pressing, it doesn't burn off all the nutrients. Whereas a lot of olive oils, they use heat to extract the oil. You can get a lot more oil, but it burns off the nutrients. Anyways, this stuff is packed with flavors and it's non-filtered. So I'm gonna just take this, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on top. Oh my gosh. Take our 
beautiful fig prosciutto. I'm ready. Just gonna cut it right down the middle. Take a bite. Oh my gosh, come on. That's incredible. That is incredible. And typically I never cook prosciutto because it just tastes so good raw. It is a flavor overload right here. I, I gotta get another one. What's perfect about it too, they're super light. You know, that's why it's great with like an appetizer right before you cook dinner. Like people will be blown away. And here you go, your fig and prosciutto antipasta appetizer. Wow, this is truly, truly remarkable. What's also remarkable is when you smash the subscribe button and join our food movement here on the channel. Slap a like on the video and leave in the comment section what you'd like to see next. Fig and prosciutto appetizer. There you go. I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, badly. <laughs>